Welcome back. This next segment really is off script. Uh, the National Hockey League is recognizing uh, the first black players uh, to take to the ice. Darren Haynes has been covering this story. He calls us over today because he's interviewing a guy, and he just wanted us to hear what he was hearing. Tell me who you're talking to, Darren. Well, th we're talking about Willie O'Ree. He's the first black person to ever play in the NHL, the National Hockey League. And I asked this question about his experience playing in the, in, in the Hockey League back in 1958, and this is what he had to say. It's good stuff. Can you recall an incident where you had to face uh, racism while playing? I don't think there was a game that went by that uh, I didn't receive racial remarks or racial slurs from not only players on the opposition but fans in the stands, you know. Um, when I was playing in the American Hockey League, uh, they were throwing uh, uh, cotton balls on the ice, said you should be back in the cotton fields. Uh, one instant they threw a black cat on the ice, um, you know, things of this. And uh, How did that make you feel? Oh, yeah, you know, I, you know, besides being black and, and, and uh, being blind, I was faced with four other things, racism, prejudice, bigotry, and ignorance. And I looked at these people that they were, they're just ignorant. Some of them were racist, and uh, I said, I don't have to deal with them. I just concentrated on playing hockey. But okay. Wait, wait, wait. He was also blind? Yeah, he didn't tell anybody that he was blind. Probably he would have changed a lot. Uh, we probably wouldn't even be talking about him if he told the people back then that he was blind in one eye. He was hit with a hockey puck. Right. You know, they didn't have the mask on back then. Okay, so, so what were you thinking when you were listening to this guy? You called this over. I know what I was thinking and feeling. Well, I knew that he had to go through some type of r racial tension. But to think about, like, they were throwing cotton balls on the ice. This is not like I have a beer in my hand and let me throw the beer can at him. This is... Before the game, hours, hey guys, let's go pick up some cotton balls from the store and let's go bring it to the game and throw it on the ice and tell him he needs to be on the field to pick, you know, they, they instead went, of on the ice to go on the, in the field to pick cotton. To degrade this yeah, like this, this right. they thought about this process. And the league was letting this go on back then? You got to remember, you're in the 50s, and right. that was what was going on, and right. there was a lot of racial tension. And hockey, baseball, um, Jackie you know, Robinson. Yeah, and, and you speak about Jackie Robinson. I mean, he, Willie O'Ree met Jackie Robinson twice and you know these these guys had that conversation about being the pioneer for black people right. in the in the NHL and in Major League Baseball right you know if it wasn't for guys like that and Jackie Robinson and Frank Robinson we go down the list you and I probably wouldn't be here it started with those guys it, it did it did start with those guys because right now you have guys that like Fort DuPont uh playing hockey and Willie O'Ree is a big ambassador of that and we see that these kids are, are living a better lifestyle, keeping them out of trouble off the streets sure. because of what really repave the foundation for. Yeah, let, let, let's hope more young people see this.